We've all seen that vehicle bouncing down the road and realized, wow, they need struts bad. But there are some other things that we need to be on the lookout for that may not be quite as obvious. Let's diagnose some of the problems from the top to the bottom. This video is sponsored by GSP North America. Over 35 years of manufacturing CV axles, loaded strut assemblies, hub assemblies, and much more. Visit gspnorthamerica.com for more information. The bearing plate is what allows the strut assembly to turn while holding up the weight of the vehicle. In this plate is a bearing setup that is designed to allow things to turn smoothly. With the vehicle parked, turn the wheel back and forth a few turns. While doing this, see if you feel any places where there's resistance greater than others or if it seems to catch in certain spots. Also, having someone turn the wheel while you listen to the top of the strut assembly can help to diagnose a bearing plate problem. The spring can also be an area of concern when it comes to the strut assembly. This is where any ride height issues could stem from. Check the vehicle's ride height and compare that with the factory specification. If it's out of spec, then it's time to replace that assembly. Lastly, take a look at the strut. You want to look at the shaft to see if there's any pitting on the chrome surface. Look at where the shaft goes into the body for signs of damage. Further down, you'll want to look for any oil or other signs that the strut is leaking. Make sure that you also examine the full strut body for any signs of damage. Any bends, dents, or punctures are a sure sign that it will need to be replaced. Strut assemblies are not just for comfort. They're also for safety as they help keep your tires planted on the road. Make sure that you know how to diagnose the issues with them properly. I'm Josh Trokey and thanks for watching.